People here in Maine are choosing a variety of ways to take in the total eclipse in places all across the state. We have teams spread out to capture it all, including a group hitting the road right now, checking in with communities along this path of totality. Thankfully, so far, they've had good weather. New Center Maine's David Guilford is part of that group. He joins us live tonight at Pineland Farms in New Gloucester. Hi, David. Hi, Brian. Hi, Amanda. I know, yeah, we're lucky with the weather so far. A lot of us have been planning for this eclipse for years. I joined a Facebook group back in 2017 for this. But for every other species, this is just going to be another Monday for them until things get really, really dark. It's going to be a surprise. But just how big of a surprise is yet to be seen. Here at Pineland Farms in New Gloucester, folks aren't expecting too much commotion in and around the barns when things go black. But the animals, and the chickens in particular, might think it's bedtime and head up for the night, only to see the glaring sun beaming in again in a few minutes. I would love to say that something really neat would happen, like the goats would stand up and walk on their back legs, but to be honest, I don't think it's going to be that dramatic. Um, we might see them, you know, kind of start to bed down for the night a little bit and find their, their spaces where they typically go to at the end of the day, um, but because it's such a short period of time, I really don't know. Now, wild animals, on the other hand, might show a little more life out in the woods, where we have a lot of nocturnal animals and a lot of different species out there. We spoke with a UNE professor who specializes in wild animal behavior. Uh, he was warning drivers to look out for turkeys, deer, and moose. They're not nocturnal, but they might think it's bedtime, and they might be crossing uh, the roadways, but he's really excited to listen out for owls that might wake up and start making noise. That'd be really cool uh, while the eclipse comes through. Now, remember, you can catch all of our eclipse coverage leading up to April 8th. Just text, text the word eclipse to 828-6622, and we'll send a link right to your phone. As for us, we'll be hitting the road for the rest of the week, looking out for some snow, but hopefully clear roads ahead. Guys, we hope that's the case for yeah. you. David, thanks so much.